Are you seeing audio renderer error? Please start your PC while watching YouTube videos. In this video, you will see the fixes for audio renderer error on YouTube. Before we start this detailed guide, press the like button and subscribe to our channel in case you forget later. What is causing audio renderer error? Users are facing audio renderer error while watching YouTube videos. It does not seem to be an issue with the operating system or a particular browser since users have reported this error on different platforms and browsers. Based on how this error is fixed, we can say that it is due to a glitch in the audio driver. It could also be due to a conflict in the Windows Sound Driver and installed Sound Card Driver. Some users have reported that updating their BIOS fixed the issue, so it could also be a reason for this error. Try common fixes. Unplug, plug sound device. At first glance, this fix seems to be a no-brainer, but it is fixing the issue, so you can try unplugging and plugging the sound device such as headphones or external speaker cables. Restart your PC. You can try restarting your PC. It could fix the audio renderer error. Switch browsers. You can try switching to a different browser. For example, if you see this error on Google Chrome, try Mozilla Firefox or Microsoft Edge. Several users reported that these are just temporary solutions. Audio renderer error reappears after some time. Also, these could not work at all on your device. If that is the case, you have to follow all fixes in this video until the error is gone permanently. Let's thank our sponsor Malwarefox for this video. Malwarefox gets rid of hidden malware from your computer. It is a simple yet effective anti-malware software providing protection against adware, spyware, ransomware, keyloggers, and all modern cyber threats. Check the description below to download for free. Run Audio Troubleshooter To fix the audio renderer error, you can run the audio troubleshooter on your Windows machine. First, click on Start and type Troubleshoot. Next, click on Troubleshoot Settings to open it. Now here, click on Additional Troubleshooter. Select the Playing Audio, then click on Run the Troubleshooter. Now select the sound output device on which you are facing the error. Click Next. Now follow the instructions that the troubleshooter suggests. Disable, Enable Sound Device Sometimes disabling and enabling the sound device fixes the audio renderer error on YouTube. To do that, click on Start, type Device Manager, open it. Now expand Sound, Video, and Game Controllers. Right-click on your default sound device and choose Disable Device. Click Yes. Restart your PC. Now right-click on it again. Choose Enable Device. Set Same Sample Rate for Windows and Audio Card. Different sample rates in the Windows Audio Driver and installed Audio Card could cause audio renderer error. You can try making it the same in both places. Right-click on the volume icon. Choose Sounds. Go to the Playback tab. Select your output sound device. Now click on Properties. Here, go to the Advanced tab. In the Default Format section, select a different sample rate. Apply it. Now we have to use the same sample rate in the installed audio card. On my PC, the installed audio card is Realtek. It could be different on your PC. You can find the name of the sound card in the Device Manager. Now search for it on the Start menu, then open its console. Find the section where you can change the sample rate. Now select the same sample rate that you have configured in the Windows settings. If you are still facing the Audio Renderer error, please restart your PC error, follow the next fix. Rollback Update the Audio Driver Another reason for the audio renderer error could be an outdated or faulty recently installed driver. So if you have recently installed the audio driver, roll it back, and if you haven't updated the driver in a long time, update it. Open the Device Manager. Expand the Audio Inputs and Output section. Right-click on the speakers and choose Properties. Go to the Driver tab. If you have recently installed a driver, click on the Rollback Driver button to roll it back. If the button is disabled, then you haven't updated the driver. You have to update it, 
click on the Update Driver button, download the latest driver from the manufacturer's website, provide the location, then install it. Now expand Sound, Video, and Game Controllers. Right-click on the installed sound card, then select Properties. You have to do the same here. Go to the Driver tab. If you have recently installed a driver, click on the Rollback Driver button to roll it back. If the button is disabled, then you haven't updated the driver. You have to update it, click on the Update Driver button, download the latest driver from the manufacturer's website, provide the location, then install it. Disable Hardware Acceleration You can disable the hardware acceleration on your browser to fix the audio renderer error on YouTube. On Google Chrome, click on Menu, then open the Settings. Scroll down and click on Advanced. Now go to the System section. Here, disable the hardware acceleration. If you are using Mozilla Firefox, open the menu, then open the Settings. Scroll down to the Performance section. Here, untick the box of Use Recommended Performance Settings. Then you will see Use Hardware Acceleration when available. Now disable it. On Microsoft Edge, click on the menu, then on Settings. Click on the system from the left sidebar. Now here, disable the hardware acceleration. After disabling the hardware acceleration, open YouTube and check if the audio renderer issue is resolved. If not, follow the next fix. Update BIOS If you have tried all the fixes and you are still facing the audio renderer error, then the last resort for you is to update the BIOS. Especially if you're using a Dell PC, updating the BIOS could solve the issue. However, before you decide to update the BIOS, you should know that it is a critical step. If anything goes wrong, your PC could stop working. First of all, you have to see if the BIOS update is available. You can download the CPU Z tool to check the BIOS version. Download it, then install it. Now open the CPU Z, then go to the main board tab. Here you can see the BIOS version under the BIOS section. Now go to your manufacturer's website and see if there is an update available. If the update is available, download it. Make sure to back up your essential files before starting the BIOS update process. That's it for this video. If you have any questions and suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends. Like the video and subscribe to our channel. Your likes and comments motivate us to create such videos. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows 10 Tips and Tricks.